We're going to talk about um, uh, cross sections as it applies to tracks that are joined. Here I've made uh, a two obviously different tracks uh, which are joined there with the node as I've shown before and we're going to have a look at um, the cross sections now. Now if I click on this road you notice we've got a cross section at each end of it and if I click on this road there's one up there and there's one down here. Now we can't actually delete those, you need some sort of cross section to say what this road looks like. Um, but what happens down here is interesting. We have two roads and there's already some changes here. So if I click on one we're actually getting the end cross section of this road and if I click on that one we've got the other end, <laughs> the end cross section of that road. Um, so how does RTV decide what to do in the middle? And this is where it's important to sort of understand these points here. Uh, now, when the number of points here match, as in this road, the number of points across here matches this road, everything is good. You can adjust this point up and down, and that's that road done. If I click on this one, its cross section is further down. So what's happening right at the boundary here is that you're actually getting an average. It's getting an average of what this road wants and an average of what this road wants um, to, to make that join work. Um, there's no <coughs> easy way around that. Um, you can't really have a cross section that, that applies to both exactly at the same time uh, for the following reason. Let's just click on this road, make sure we've got that road selected first. Now what we're going to do is... Oh, I've done it again. There we go. Click on there. I'm going to delete every second point out of this road. And we'll have a look at how things work then. Press the delete key. Those points are all gone. So now the cross section for this road is simplified. We've got less points across it, um, so it's a, a simpler road than the other one that has more more points in it. But the cross sections need to work. So along here, this is where these major points become very important. For this section here across here, um, raising and moving this whole section is going to um, change the line that goes between here and there. Now it's a little bit tricky to think about but this side, if I click this track here and we've got um, the cross section there, if you imagine a line just running straight from here across to there and now if we look, if I click on that other road and we've got a line running straight from there up to there, it doesn't actually matter what I do here, it's not going to affect this very join section. It'll affect the next um, points along, but it doesn't affect there, because in effect we've actually got a line running, um, an imaginary line running from there to there, and we've got one for this track running from there down to there, and then it's averaged out to make the final track which is running along there. Now it has to be uh, running along a straight line for both sides because these points here from this side need to be joined up into here. There's no easy um, way around that but um, that's a fairly nice job of it and I'm happy with the amount of code that went into to getting that done. So you can see here I'm just going to exaggerate the effect. We've got this track selected at the moment so when I pull all that out um, it's got a wide area and then it's going to merge into this track which has a smaller cross section. Um, so that's pretty much it, that's all you've really got to be wary about. Um, you can't delete either of those cross sections, they are and they need to be defining the ends of each of those roads. Um, but you can join them together and have different points across there and It'll average out for that very um, line, that very thin line that 
joins the two tracks together. I um, hope that's clear. If not, um, post some comments in the video and I'll take a look at what I can do to make it clearer. Thank you again for watching.